communicate your distant loved ones, know about the latest events and updates from all over the globe, and many more, even if you have greater today. As the world becomes more and more digitalized, we Filipinos keep up with the trend as more and more Pinoys get attached to the internet because of social media. With various things within just a tap or a click, Filipinos spend at about 4 hours and 7 minutes a day at an average on social media sites like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I believe that Filipinos are maximizing the use of social media. Currently, with the pandemic going on, many make use of social media to make their quarantine productive. They get connected with loved ones, get entertainment, some do their academic tasks and business transactions through the online platforms. But also, I observe that there are really disadvantages in social media site usage in the Philippines. The Philippines is a third world country that not every citizen can eat three proper meals a day. How much more afford a mobile phone and avail internet connectivity? Now, another thing I want to point out is that the use of social media in the Philippines is greatly abused by the netizens. I believe that the primary use of social media is to let people be updated and connected with anyone they wish with a proper agenda. But nowadays, people are just posting nonsensical things. Yes, we all have our freedom of speech and expression as stated in our constitution, but with limitations, of course. Not to mention the spread of fake news. With this, I see that the social media status in the Philippines is quite chaotic, as only a few people can be considered as responsible netizens. I hope that this case will be addressed and given proper solutions not only to have social media usage in the Philippines better, but make us Filipinos ourselves better citizens and better people. That will be all thank you. I'm not